This is Mr. Burley at the York Catholic District School Board. This is the fifth tutorial in this series where we're doing the layout of this little cottage that's on the ocean or on the lake. So in this particular video, what I want to do is show you how to dimension some stuff. Now, this is, you got to consider yourself, we're in the design development phase. So that's the phase where the architects start to design stuff up and, and the homeowner will look at it and say, yes, I like that size and uh, I like that, how that's positioned and stuff. So it's dimensions that are more critical to the homeowner. Um, later on, we'll get into dimensioning stuff in, in its entirety where say we're building the front deck here. Well, the people that are manufacturing that front deck would need all kinds of dimensions, the thickness of the lumber, the width of the deck, the length of the deck, the th you know, all that stuff. These details aren't necessary during the design development phase or DD phase, which is what we're doing right now. So if you were to go in, uh, say you were going to buy a, what they call a tract house, or you, you were going to a sales center for a tract house, tract houses, they, they also refer to them as cookie cutter houses, but that's more of a, uh, a derogatory term, I, I suppose, or um, pejorative term. The, these houses, these tract houses, you'll see all across Toronto, Richmond Hill, Thornhill, all the rest of it. And that's where there's five or six houses that are all the same, and you can buy one of those five houses. So if you look on the street, you'll see several of the same house. So in those, in those terms, what they look at is this. And this is a person coming in to possibly buy this, or possibly um, it's a homeowner working with an architect during the design development phase, which I just spoke about. And he, he or she is saying, okay, so my bedroom is going to be eight, eight foot four. Well, I need that to be a bit bigger. Um, this, these types of dialogue go back and forth. So you're just having the basic overall dimensions and notes. So sometimes you'll see in here uh, living space, living room, or you'll see bedroom uh, and the size and you and you'll just see the overall dimensions so that's what we're going to do today we don't need to have every single thing dimensioned just the things that you think might be critical for instance maybe the person wants to know like that that's kind of a critical thing there I'd like to know how wide is that and so on so I'll show you how we're going to do that right now so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go of course to the home screen and we're going to go to layer properties and we're going to create a new layer and in this layer, we're going to call it uh, Notes and Dimensions. And you can see I've already done that. But uh, so I will just go to that actually. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to delete it. Oh, because oh, it's in use. Okay, so let's go to the Notes and Dimension layer. So I created a Notes and Dimensions layer, which you will do. And the color I chose was like a nice bright orange color. So I want it to pop out, I want it to stand out so I can see it nicely. So we'll do that. Now, the first note I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a note up in here, um, this area right here. So we're gonna click on annotations. We're gonna click on uh, standard annotation. I can never say that word, I'm sorry. Come into here and I wanna set the height of the note. Now you can, it, this is a, the thickness of the same. I want it to be able to see it. So you know that this is six inches here. So probably the height of the note would be good at six inches or maybe even seven inches. But let's just go seven inches for now. And you have to do inches and enter and go close. And now when we come into the notes, click on the note and we come down in here and we can put it. So it's saying where do you want to put it? Well, we can put it anywhere right now because we're going to in a few seconds move it to a proper location. So we're going to say this is a bedroom. You can call it guest bedroom if you want. And we're going to say, what is this? I forget exactly. It's eight feet by eight foot four inches. Okay. Oops. Backspace. And so there it is. And now we can move this around. Just click it like this, and you can move it into into a, into a location like so you can see it nicer. Right click, move. And then you can move it all around. You can move it down into here. Somewhere probably in that vicinity would be the best. So you can do things like that. You can name that. You can, I don't think you need to put the bathroom, like you would need to say that's a bathroom. It's obvious I put a toilet and a sink in there and there's a shower stall. But you could put the size right there just roughly. The size here. Anything that you think the customer, so imagine you're the architect and the customer's coming in this afternoon and they want to see this. You've, you've, you've you sketched out the sketches last week in the in the schematic phase and now we're in the design development and so this is they're going to look at it on the computer screen and they want to understand it so you want to put dimensions in there to for clarity 
Um, so now you can do other things for the living room here and so on. Uh, now what I can do as well is we're going to dimension. So we're going to dimensions. We can put a couple of basic overall dimensions. And so I'm going to click here, standard dimension, manage the styles, modify. And now when you come in here, we're going to go to the lines and you see where it says by block. That means whatever we set for the notes that this will take on the same size. So these note, the, these numbers will be seven inches, which is perfect. Uh, I set the extensions uh, beyond. So that little tip right there, it goes past the arrow. I set it to four inches past just so it's bold and you can see it nicely. And this, the gap right there between the, the extension line and the object line, I put to six inches. Okay. Um, arrows, I made them at one foot. So you can make even bigger if you want to 1.5 might be cool. 1.5 feet enter. I put one six doesn't matter. Um, text size again, it's going to grab the size of, of the layer that it's on primary units. This is important. It, it was initially set to decimal. Well, we don't want decimals. We want to set to uh, architectural so you can see feet and inches and these two you can leave just the way they are. Now, when we come out here, we can do some overall. And by the way, I, I, I took some liberties. This is not exactly the same size as what we were drawing in class. Um, the deck is a little bit different too, a little bit wider um, and so on. But these are the things now, like the person that's buying this house, they're gonna spend a lot of time on the porch looking out at the lake or the ocean or whatever the case may be. So they're probably gonna be interested in the size of that deck and particularly this dimension here. So I would suggest if the homeowner is coming in, to, I would say, okay, that dimension is important to us right there. And I would say this dimension, I wouldn't put it here. Actually, I put it down here so we can see it. I would say from there to there is probably pretty important. They're going to want to know that. And I'm going to say this dimension from here into here is probably also pretty important, four or five feet. They'd want to know how wide that deck is. Can I can I get three or four chairs around in a circle? So I can, can I sit in a circle or is it too narrow? That kind of thing. And that might be the time during the design development phase that they might say, you know what, we want to go another two feet out on our deck. Um, and so on. So here, this and this I drew in, and you can see what that is. Uh, if you look here, it's these little boxes, little, I guess, the seats and probably storage containers. Okay, so now dimension, you go ahead and dimension anything you think that's relevant. Again, customers coming in, you've des you spent the whole week designing this, it's Friday, and they want to see the design. So you can also, too, there, if they're sitting on your computer screen, you can also double click and, and, and check dimensions for them. But typically this is going to be sitting on a boardroom table and you're going to be showing them that way. So again, I would, I would think this is a probably a pretty relevant, the opening there, how wide is that? So I might put that in there. And of course you would dimension this room, and this room, and this room, and just so they can see the overall sizes. Okay. So what I'd like you to do is, is I'd like you to spend, fin follow, finish this video up and put in any dimensions that you think are relevant for this situation. So leave out dimensions. You don't want to, you don't want to clutter your drawing up too much. You don't want to have every single dimension. Like I wouldn't dimension the little boxes and the stairs and all that. Probably, you know, you want to, you, you want to keep clarity. And again, this is a communication tool and you got to keep that in mind. Okay. Thanks for watching.